Hello, my name is Christopher Sirota, and I'm a solutions engineer here at Datto. Today, we're going to be reviewing the recovery options Sears has to offer when restoring to VMware and Hyper-V. Before we get into it, we need to talk about what a hypervisor connection is. A hypervisor connection is the method the Sears appliance utilizes to integrate with VMware and Hyper-V. This will open up a VMware exclusive restore option and a continuity option for both hypervisors. Now that we know what a hypervisor connection is and does, let's talk about the actual restore and continuity options. These consist of virtualized via hypervisor, ESX upload, export image, and even bare metal restores. Let's hop into the device to see these options. Here we are in the Cirrus appliance. The first option we're going to be reviewing today is Virtualize via Hypervisor, which is our continuity option. This allows the Cirrus to offload a virtual machine to the host, whether it be a VMware or Hyper-V, dependent on that hypervisor connection. This hypervisor connection allows us to communicate with the host, build that virtual machine to whatever our specifications are for CPU cores, system RAM, and even what virtual network it's on. For this instance here, I'll be utilizing one of my ESXi servers in virtualizing the most recent point. Clicking restore helps communicate with the host to ensure I have the proper resources and that the host is online and usable for a continuity option such as this. From here, I can allocate specific resources from the resource pool the host is allowing me. In this case, I'm going to give this virtual machine four cores and four gigs of RAM. And then I'm going ahead and starting up this virtual machine. Now this option is very good for load balancing in particular. Let's say you're in a scenario where you have multiple virtual machines go down, whether it be due to ransomware, storage failure, uh, and such. This gives us the option, if the host is still up and running, to utilize all those untapped resources while even, even having some virtual machines running within the Cirrus appliance itself. Because with this option, the virtual machine, again, will run host side, but the, the Cirrus appliance will act as that temporary storage, allowing any sort of changes to be made to not only be captured on the virtual machine, but also backed up. So from here, we could watch this virtual machine boot up. And then once it's up and running, your client's business will be also back up and running. Now, this is half the battle. We also need to have restoration options. And that's where the other, the other restoration options I've mentioned earlier uh, come into play. The first of which is ESX Upload. This is a VMware exclusive restore process that converts whatever recovery point you choose to a VMDK and will upload that data over the hypervisor connection to the data store and directory of your choice. So here again, I'm going to take the most recent backup. I will choose my ESXi server. And from here, it's going to give me the option to actually choose that data store as well as create a directory in that data store where this VMDK will reside. Once the upload's completed, all you would have to do, log into your host and attach that VMDK to the virtual machine of your choice and start it up. Now, in the case where you have, maybe you don't have a VMware server, so you, you cannot utilize ESX upload. In that case, export image is that universal process. This not only allows you to convert backup images into a VMDK, but it gives you the choice of VHD or VHDX as well. This option not only allows you to convert to whatever disk format you, you want, but it also allows you to share those out over the network via a Samba share or an NFS share, 
or even to a USB drive you have plugged in directly to the Cirrus unit. So in this case, I'm gonna do a network share for a VHDX. This is converting my backup image as we speak and also creating those, those different shares for you to grab this image from and pull back over to your Hyper-V or VMware hypervisor. And there we go, it's completed. From here, I'll be able to grab my VHDX, pull it over to my Hyper-V server, and then attach that image to a virtual machine of my choice. In the case you were restoring to VMware, you would be utilizing a VMDK, of course, as well as the NFS share, which you, you have the ability to mount as a data store within your VMware uh, host itself. Lastly, we have our bare metal restore process. Now, normally bare metal restore, you think of a physical machine. However, we can also run this to virtual machines. And this is all possible through our recovery environment, the data utilities ISO. Normally for a physical machine, you would image it to a USB flash drive and then boot the physical machine off that flash drive. In the case of a virtual instance, you don't need to do any of that. You just download the utilities environment from downloads.dato.com, attach it to the virtual machine and boot up, boot up that virtual machine from that image. This will give you the ability to perform that bare metal restore, which will allow you to clone data from your, your server of choice and recovery point of choice over to that virtual instance. Normally, the bare metal restore process does require downtime during the entire restoration and cloning process. However, you can actually utilize a rescue agent, which is a type of virtual machine that allows continuous backups to run and capturing the changed data of said virtual machine, allowing you to do what's called a fast failback bare metal restore. And because of the continuous mirroring nature and not having to bring the virtual instance down during most of the bare metal restore process, this will help mitigate downtime as well as be very time efficient. To summarize everything, we've reviewed the continuity option of virtualized via hypervisor, allowing us to offload virtual machines to an ESX or VMware host. The VMware specific restore option of ESX upload that allows you to automatically upload a VMDK into, into the host and data store of your choice, as well as export image to give you the universal VM restore, whether you're restoring to Hyper-V, VMware with a VHD, VHDX, or VMDK, as well as the bare metal restore process. Thank you and have a good day.